In this video, I will show you how to use AppFlowy. So with AppFlowy, as you can see, you can bring projects, wikis and teams together with AI. So I'll show you how you can use this and how you can really get the most out of AppFlowy. So right here, you can download the app or you can click start for free in the top right and then here click on download. So I'll just go ahead and download the app right now. And if you're not sure how to do it, just click on the download button, then a download will start. Then you want to go ahead and click on the open button and then you can simply go ahead and drag the AppFlowy app into your application. So you can see it here, just click on the open button right here, then wait for a few seconds. Then right here you will see AppFlowy, so just take the AppFlowy application and drag it into your applications. Then here click on your launchpad and you will see AppFlowy show up right here. So you can see it's here, AppFlowy. So go ahead and open up the AppFlowy app right now and then click here, open. Now it would like to access files in your documents folder. I'll click allow. And now here you can go ahead and continue with Google, Apple or enter an email address. I'll just sign up with Google. So then after you create your account, you can simply go to make the app full screen and then you will get into your workspace right here. Now you will see right now it's completely empty and you will just have these sections here. So right now you are in your workspace that has one member. Now first what you can do is click on the gear icon right here and then click members in order to invite other members into your workspace. So that's the first thing that I recommend you to do if you do want to invite your team members. Then in the workspace section here, you can also change the appearance. Personally, I like the lighter theme more, so that's what I'll keep it to. And you can go and change the name and the icon of your workspace right there. Now you can also do stuff like changing the font, the text direction, and all of those things, but that's not too important. Now here in the AI settings, you can see you currently have AI search enabled. And you can also run local models on your device for ultimate privacy. And here you can choose which AI model you want to use. Then in the plan section here, you will see currently you're on the free plan, which is perfect for individuals and teams up to two members to organize everything. Now you have some add-ons and you can change the plan to their pro plan later if you want. But I'll just show you how you can get started with the free plan. So first you can click templates in the bottom left and that will take you to their templates website. Now here just find a template for something that you want to do. For example, startups, engineering, project management or any of these other ones. Now in this case I will just go with management right here. So then you will see some templates here. So find a template that works for you and that you can use. For example, here you have a blog editorial calendar. Here you have a simple startup company home. Here you have a performance review template, a device tracker, and a bunch more things that you can go and try out. Now you can also create something yourself, but I'll just, for example, get this job description template. So let's click on the template and then click use this template. And when you do that, it will take you here. From here, just going to sign into your AppFlowy account. Then you can choose which workspace to add it to and you can choose which page you want to add it to. For example, I add it to my general page here. So when you add it right here, you can click use the template and then click open AppFlowy and then it will go ahead and open up the AppFlowy app and now it will just be imported into the app as well. So under general, you will now see the job description template right here. So this is just to get someone onboarded where you can go ahead and enter everything about the job and now you can simply share this with people by adding them into your workspace. Now in the top right, you can also click on the share button and then you can publish it to the web or you can export it as HTML, markdown, or you can copy it to your clipboard. And then people don't even need to be in your workspace in order to see this. Now you will see it's really easy to edit something. For example, if you want to change this, you can click ask AI and then you can have it summarize, fix spelling and grammar, improve the writing or make it longer. For example, if I click make longer, you will see credentials and expertise. Then you can click replace and then it will say that. Now you can also really easily change the heading type. You can make it bold or not bold and stuff like that. Now what you can also do is click on plus right here and then you can use the AI writer you can add text or one of these headings. You can add in an image, bulleted list, a numbered list, a to-do list, a divider, quote, table, a link to a different page, a grid, a linked grid, a Kanban, linked Kanban, calendar, linked calendar, a callout, outline, math equation. You can even add code and you can add a toggle list, emoji, date or reminder, photo gallery, or even a file. 
Now, for example, if I click on the code right here, you will now be able to write the code right there. But now you can also use the AI writer to go and write code for something that you want to write. For example, I just ask it write code for something random. So now you can just take all of this text here and put it into the code section. And then you will see you have this code right here to basically get the weather information. So that's how you can also add this. Now if you click share and then publish, you will then get a link. So I'll copy this link and open it in a new tab. And now here you can see people will now have this job description and then here you have the code and people can then go and copy this and then do with it whatever they need to. So using AppFlow is very simple. Just go and install the app and then it really depends on what you want to do with AppFlow. -y. Now if you want to unpublish something just click on share again and then click unpublish and then the link won't work anymore. Now in the templates, just find any template that you want to use. You can use it for project management, engineering, startups, education, marketing, management, human resources, sales and CRM, or for team meetings. Now you will see you also have AI powered templates. So this social media calendar right here, for example. So if we import this one and click use template, then again, it will take us to AppFlowy where I can select my workspace, select where I want to add it to then click on add and then click use the template and open app flowy and then if i go and open up the app again you will now see the social media calendar we also have right here and this one is an ai powered social media calendar because that's what it was under in the template section so then you can just go to the day click on plus and then you can add whatever you want right here for example if i name this one you will now be able to click on this one and then expand it and then here you can simply go and add in images and videos and whatever you want again so there's a lot of different things that you can do with appflowy and in this video i just explained the basics of how you can use appflowy if this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel with that being said i will see you in the next video